what do these four people have in common? And uh, it's, uh, for those of you who don't know, that's uh, Nick Costello. He's uh, um, CEO of Twitter. And uh, Al Franken. Uh, and then a uh, very flattering picture of Dave. And uh, <laughs> the, uh, the, the, as we were having a conversation a few weeks ago, Dave said, well, um, you know, I've done some uh, uh, improvisational theater. And, and I thought, well, that's very interesting because so has Dick Costello, and so has Al Franken, and so have I, and, uh, and I've used it a number of different times to develop content uh, for the Can everybody see back there? Is there enough room? Go ahead and open those, let those people come back in. There's a lot of improvisation in here to enjoy. Come on, right on in. Right on in, don't be afraid. All right. And, uh, and so, so improvisational theater games and, uh, and techniques have, have been uh, part and parcel of the way that I've developed creativity and content over the years. But in fact, as I began to investigate, there were a lot more uh, of this. In fact, today I believe there's another presentation somewhere that Nissan is doing about them uh, contacting and using Second City for a thing. We'll talk about that in just a minute. But I wanted to share with you the, the sort of the impact that that sort, kind of creativity has on, on creative development. So, uh, developing content online. Uh, Boxlot.com was a competitor to eBay, and at the time uh, ranked second to eBay because of their uh, unique positioning, and which was they had the most interesting stuff, the, the weirdest, strangest things uh, got onto this auction site. And so, um, as part of that, they did a, a, a national, uh, actually a, a national campaign, and it was uh, us utilizing radio. Uh, because it actually, there, that was a media that drove people online. But we needed creative, creative breakthrough because it's so busy and so crowded and, and very difficult to get radio uh, commercial messages out. So in development of the creative uh, process, uh, we're sitting around with uh, uh, writers and, and doing a game uh, that's uh, part of an improvisation game I'll share with you, um, which was called Sound Effects. And so we were trying to make the different sound effects of the, the most unique things that we could think of uh, in the site that people would want to see and, uh, and, uh, and so one of the writers uh, has just blurted out. I don't know why, but I've always wanted one. Maybe because it's the kind of thing a rich guy would own. Anyway, I'm on there one day and I see one, so I bid on it. i got to say, it's, it's pretty cool. <laughs> Only your own tennis ball machine. It's just a drag that I live in an apartment. Buy it, sell it, trade it on Boxlot. B O X L O T. Boxlot.com. So the creative process is impacted uh, dramatically by uh, the use of, of the improvisational theater games. Um, another example I wanted to share with you was uh, Ebonite bowling balls. So, Ebonite, um, anybody know the average age of a bowler in the United States? Take a guess. 42, 50. High 60s, 67, 68. Uh, and so uh, bowling, desperate to make uh, an impression and become relevant for a younger generation, uh, decided that um, they uh, needed to have a, a different take. And so the, um, the, the improvisational comedian uh, uh, was brought in and uh, asked to riff on the idea of the theme that they are ruining bowling because they're engineering the balls too well. And so, as a result, uh, created a series of uh, YouTube uh, videos that were, let's see if I can get this for play, it's, well, Dale Jenkins here, Tricky Dick Nixon, Ebonite Bowling Bowls, see the connection, see where I'm going, hear me out, Tricky Dick created a bowling alley in the White House, who paid for it? Taxpayers, some call him an innovator, some call him cheater, Ebonite Bowling Bowls. Technological designs make your scores a little bit better. Innovator? No. Cheater. Ebonite is ruining bowling. <laughs> <laughs> so an entire series of these on YouTube. He's in the bowling alley complaining. He's yelling at other bowlers. Um, and they even took this uh, uh, not a couple steps farther by actually having the character post to bowling.com the discussion boards with the professionals, having arguments with the guys on ABC and ESPN. And, it was uh, really very dramatic when he came out as, as just an improv uh, guy. So, um, uh, again, the Nissan I mentioned uh, is uh, launching the 2013 Pathfinder. Um, so, they partnered with Second City uh, to create an improv tastic road trip. And uh, what they did was they brought in uh, uh, the entire production crew and uh, uh, a bit, wouldn't it be nice to have a production crew and an orchestra? And yes, they brought all that in 
and, uh, and they uh, had these comedians uh, improv on themes and uh, suggestions that the viewers were, uh, who were watching this uh, uh, at the time it was being done uh, would uh, would suggest. And so as a result, uh, they have this uh, this series of about 12, I guess, uh, they did it for 12 hours, um, and to about 15 minutes uh, to shoot for each one. It's about the amount of time they were allowed to actually create and uh, have the uh, games to create to make up the content, and then uh, produce uh, an actual uh, music video. Um, and as re the results were, were, were interesting, I'll let you judge. This is, I like the rap and the country one, here you can take a quick look at this. And Yo, and I'm Big Red. We're about to set it off because you know we never go flat. Driving through the street in our Pathfinder, looking for a shorty to pull up behind her. We're going to Vegas where it never rains. And eight to the three, as Ron is gold chain. Oh, no, I'm about to get busy. Driving for a girl and her name is Lindsay. Don't fuck me off because I got some more. I'm flying in the jungle, let it go, boy, boy. Flat tires, yo. We did some. We got a tire pressure monitoring system. Flat tires, yo. We did some. We got a tire pressure monitoring system. Um, at part of the uh, 2013 uh, launch. So, 